everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jennifer Miller, also known as Emma This Winters. I am a mother girl parenting, I am an author, and I am a makeup lover. This is my shot my stash slash review. Okay, real quick, a quick 30 second intro as to why this is my shot my stash and review in a different format. Typically, I show you me picking it out, you know, opening the door, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. you know, picking out the concealer, picking out the foundation, picking out the eyeliner, picking out the this, the that. So, here's the deal, did that. When I went to export it to try to set it up and, you know, pre, pre, preload it, whatever you will, for um, Thursday, which is today, well, Friday, technically, which is tomorrow. Hey, yeah, I know, right, kind of close. <clears throat> I went to it and it kept telling me error, error, error. And I was like, what? So I look and one of, it was split in two somehow, don't know how, one of them is corrupted. So. I was like, I can either <laughs> fake it and redo it, or I can simply just do it differently. And like I used to do it when I first started, which is what I decided to do just this once. So my apologies <clears throat> that it's different and I'm not showing you me picking it out, but I did pick it out and um, I will do that next time. <clears throat> Sorry, tell you better sore throat. Oh, no, not Corona. <laughs> Sinuses, Ugh. Okay, so. I'm gonna quickly go through this because these can get a little lengthy. So I'm gonna run through it as fast as I can. Um, already, I'm not gonna show you the powder. This is the same powder I've been using. So far, so good. I'm working real good with just about all my concealers, which is the only place I use them, which is <coughs> my underneath. Four, primer. I chose two. I chose my Ulta um, Fabulous Face Foundation Primer. I think this is a pore filling primer. If not, I have one, <laughs> but I've been using this. I'm not using it today, however, nor am I using this one, my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Not using anything. Go figure. Okay, for concealer, I chose my It Cosmetics. This is my It Cosmetics Full Coverage Anti-Aging Concealer. Later. <laughs> Comments later. For foundation, I chose my Tarte Clay Stick Foundation for for um phooey. this is what holy cow I would go faster if I could think for bronzer this is my beauty crop bronzer I just got this not too long ago I am wearing it for blusher I chose my tart for yeah for bronze for yeah and I am wearing this shade right there this is in the color Marion Bright for highlighter I chose both my Alme and it's a dual ended I do have on both but I'm leaning more towards this one I'm not really fond of this one but that's another story and my Becca highlighter in the palette which I've already hit pan. Go figure. For <clears throat> eyes. Really, and that is the only thing because lips, I is as always, I use the same lips all month long. Lip products. <clears throat> for eyeliner, and you got stuck in there. I'll just put you back. For um, liquid liner, I chose my Maybelline Master Precise All Day liquid liner and also pulled this one which was an in those liners but this purple one I'm gonna have fun with this <clears throat> I'll probably do this one for three weeks this shop by stash usually I do it too but as I have a lot of looks that I have to make specifically with specific palettes for the next couple weeks I'll probably extend it so that I get some use out of this stuff um, for regular liner Oh, eh, you got put in there. That's the brow. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, so for eyeliner, I chose for the, my black, I chose my Revlon. For my brown, I chose my Maybelline Lasting Drama Waterproof Eye Pencil. For a color, several of them. T 
Teal in the Laura Geller Eye Care Waterproof Eyeliner. It went off really good, but it's already coming off just a little bit. But I do like the fact that I didn't put any on my water or any um, shadow down beneath my eyes. I kind of like that. I'm kind of liking that a lot. Normally I do. I did this time. And in purple, I chose my um, Laura Geller um, Purple Paradise. I also chose this Mally Silver. It's in Starshine is the name of it. I'm going to enjoy having fun with that. <coughs> and I also pulled my Laura Geller um, Eye Brightener in, um, I believe it's Bone or is it just Eye Brightener? Oh yeah, no, it's just Eye Brightener. Yeah, I thought it was in Bone, but no, it's just Eye Brightener. And last but not least, my Urban Decay. This is brand new to me. This is in the color Amber. <coughs> For eyeshadow. All still doing singles. So, I pulled out my Wet n Wild Walking on Eggshells. Yeah, that one. I've had this for a while. This one's pretty much gone. <coughs> I pulled my um, my Morphe Ocean Frost single. Two Mally um, stick shadows. One in Sable Shimmer and the other in is that warrior? I think that's warrior. Interesting name. I will swatchy swatchy both. There's warrior. And there's sable shimmer. Yeah, I'm gonna enjoy using these in a the look. Uh, not many people like shadow sticks. I'm actually getting into them. I wish they had like a whole huge collection of them. I would buy them all. <clears throat> also, I pulled this little guy from, it's a brand called Makeup Essentials. Emmy, me, <laughs> Makeup Essentials. It's a very pretty yellow, eggshelly yellow color. Could probably also, as glimmery as it is, be used as a highlight. It's there across my knuckles. I don't know if you can see it, but it's really pretty. I'm going to have to look into these guys again. I've not heard much about them. Way, real quick story. When me and my daughter were at the mall a while back, like three, four years ago. Yeah, about three, four years ago. They came up to us and it was like we had, it was tax time and we had money. So they're like, hey, you want this for $20? You get this, 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 this. Out of the whole thing, we didn't like much of it, but we did like those. There's several of those shadows that we liked, so that was pretty cool. And for last but not least, the last shadow is my Kathleen Lights um, ColourPop Pigment, and I believe is this the scales? Yeah, the scales. That's going to be so much fun to wear. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait. <coughs> so like I said, I really want a chance to play with all this, especially the shadows um, and the eyeliners. So I don't want to rush it. So I might go three weeks. I might even go a month. Um, I think I'm going to kind of leave it like that. Um, I usually pull four or five shadows at a time and I want to give them all some love. So I might leave it at a month. It is the foundation and everything else that I end up wanting to change like within a week so we'll see we'll see how it goes sorry quick drink my bad sorry <laughs> dry mouth okay dry our throat okay now the review part sorry about the clapping i just hurrying myself so that i can get this and keep this short and sweet okay so Let's start right off with the bat of the bad. Not really bad product, more what happened. Uh, I swear. 
So it was old, which is probably the why. But <laughs> when I was, um, oh yeah, that was gone. So I take care of that. When I was putting on, well, one of the, one day when I was putting on blusher, if you, rem I don't know if you remember, I tried to leak it. I probably forget. But when I chose, goodness, I chose my blusher and it was my Makeup Revolution blusher and it broke. It cracked into like a dozen pieces and I could have saved it, but it was only a dollar. I really didn't feel that bad about throwing away because it was a dollar. And it also was like four or five years old. So I was like, you know what? It's okay. It worked. It was doing just fine, but I just didn't feel that bad about throwing it away. You know what I mean? So also um, I have an empty and I'm not going to judge. I always leave if I do an empty or if I empty something, I save the um, review for it for when I do my empties video, which is coming up soon, but not that soon. Just soon. Goodness. Well, that's probably why. Zoeva Foundation. It's a medium coverage. It's not bad. It's probably more medium full. It does say authentic skin, natural luminous foundation. Um, I'm assuming authentic skin means it's not full coverage. It's not full coverage, but I think you could build it up. I never really did. I like the look it gave me. My cheeks are pink. They always seem to peek, peek through. They're peeking through now. So there's, I only have a few full coverage foundations. This one that I'm wearing, because it's from my shop, my stash, the Tarte uh, clay stick, I think I can build it up. <clears throat> but I never really do because it never really bothers me at medium. So what? My cheeks peek through. Whatever. You know, pretty much everything else is covered. I am broke out a little bit. I have got some texture going on, but again, it doesn't bother me. Anyway, I definitely think it's worth a repurchase. Um, I really do like it. It's not the best. It is a good shade match, too. Um, I do not know. I put a new light. I don't know if I had that nice foundation line that I've had in so many videos after I've watched them. Like, oh god, you do not have a foundation. Yes, yeah, you do. You have a foundation line. Do you not know about blending? I do. I do. I swear. I know you're supposed to blend down the neck, but uh, I'm horrible at it. I really realize that I am. We're just gonna move on. We're gonna get away from that uncomfortable subject. So, um, my empty was my doll tan concealer. So, my Lottie, little Lottie London Tan Time Bronzer. <coughs> this bronzer is a really good bronzer. I, for, I think it was five, six dollars, um, maybe seven at most maybe online at Ulta. It's really a good bronzer. I definitely will be repurchasing this. It looks really good on my skin. I love it. I think it's a really good bronzer, especially for the price. We'll continue with face. So I like most of Wet n Wild's highlights. I've tried many of them. This, perhaps because it's old, perhaps because it's starting to hard pan right there. I don't know if you can tell it, but it is. But it's just not that good. Not as good as I thought. It can be built up. I will say that. It can be built up, but it's really not that very shiny. I'm right in my Becca right now. I can't get tell. <laughs> Becca is a good one. Becca is a really good one. Definitely are a good bronzer. Or highlight. Definitely. So I, I'm definitely going to keep this. I don't see why not. It. I might put it in a project pan next year or something to try to just get rid of it. But I'm going to keep it. It's not worth getting rid of, but it's just it's not as good as I remember. So maybe it's because I've come across better. Don't know. We're going to go do shadows next. So I never even used this, sadly. I am disappointed, but 
when I pull it out next time, I'll be sure to. This is my Wet n Wild Quad in Silent Treatment. Wet n Wild makes good shadows. Not great, but good. The two stars of the show. Um, oh, also, I never used my other me shadow. This is, these do not have colors, but this is a nice bronzy, bronzy coffee color, maybe, chocolate, maybe. Yeah, you know, copper has got the more warm tints, bronze has the more cool tones, I think. Am I right? Comment down below. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to definitely be using that next time, too. Um, these two were the stars of the show and this one. I can't believe this still works. I am so surprised. I wore this in a look. I loved the look. I thought it was gorgeous. Just blew me away how good this is. Still, I've had this for like seven years. I know, but it's still good. I mean, it works. Let me put it that way. I don't know about it's still good, but it works. And also, the other star of the show, freaking love this pigment. It's gorgeous. It's another pigment from the Kathleen Lights. I have the full collection. Minus one, because somewhere, it's somewhere, and I love it. It's my sign, too, and I'm so disappointed. Anyway, this is the Kathleen Lights pigment, and I believe, um, I cannot remember. And it doesn't have it on the bottom anymore. Yes, it does. Yeah, write it in white. I'll figure out, but yeah, this one's awesome. Beautiful white, sparkly white color. Just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. I love it so much. <laughs> okay, this one by Sephora. I also wore, I wore this as a single. And also wore it um, with this one by ColourPop. I'm going to swatch them next to each other. This um, one by ColourPop is a... Um, yep, you know what they are. <laughs> uh, don't ask me, I can't think of it. Okay, this is... The ColourPop one is Ringlet. And you have that gorgeous shade. And then this Sephora one is in, I believe, Pop Princess? Pop Idol. Yes, Pop Idol. I'm going to re swatch this color pop one. Oh, yeah, that's better. So, those are just gorgeous shadows. Just really, really beautiful. And I had some fun using these. All three of these together just would be gorgeous, but I never did that. Maybe next time. <laughs> okay, so on to the liners. We're not doing too bad. I think we're just, we're still under 30 minutes, I think. I think, I hope, I hope, I hope. Um, my Stella liquid liner, love it. It's, it's beautiful. Um, I will say my Master Precise, I've used it a couple times, just as good. But nonetheless, we're on not talking about that yet, not for a couple weeks. Definitely worth the repurchase, definitely worth the price. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Really good one. Um, Tarte Gel Liner. Man Eater Gel Liner. Yep, I guess that's what it is. Uh, okay, yeah, it's definitely a winner. Um, Urban Decay, enough said, it's in chaos, enough said. This um, Mally Evercolor Gel Watercolor Liner in Hazelnut. I've raved about Mally's before, they are really good. I do think they're a little hit and miss where sometimes it's not um i think it's the color that matters some of the colors don't come across very well so and don't show up very well but most of them are good most of them are really good <clears throat> and this laura geller um eye care waterproof liner in ocean yes i'm losing a lot of laura geller's 
but I have like 20, so kind of got to go through them. <laughs> so I'll probably be using them all the time. <laughs> and another one that I never used before. Oh, this one's in bone. The other one's eye brightener. This one's bone. I didn't use it this time. Hopefully I'll use that one this time. Who knows? But that is it. For mascara, I'm still using my Mali uh, More is More. I'm trying to use all that up to get it gone so that I can declutter it, get rid of it, throw it away, whatever. And for um, powder, showed you my air spine. I'm trying to think. And the products are still the same from last two weeks. So <clears throat> I'm not going to give you a thing on them until I'm done with them. Yep, I'm putting it away. I know, right? Okay, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> I'm gonna stop, I swear. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys like these types of videos. If you like these types of videos, please give it a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to comment down below. I would love to know, do you have any of these products? And if so, what you think of them? Um, also, uh, subscribe and you might want to turn on that notification bell again these videos are usually on Thursdays but not always so you might want to turn it on especially if you like these type of videos especially the shop my stash type I do I love shop my stashes I watch them all I just love to see what people have and I'll sit there and I'll look and I'll look and I'll be like oh I need that I don't need that but I still want it <laughs> So I hope you guys have an amazing day and yeah, I'm going to shut my mouth and I will see you hopefully in my next video. Bye.